Oh, this recipe is one of my all-time favorites. I'm obsessed with grain bowls. Anything that you can take a bunch of beautiful toppings and put it on a grain or a rice, and then take those toppings and make something completely different for little kids, it's a win. Ancient grains have been around forever, hence the word ancient, and you can get so many different kinds. For this specific recipe, I'm using farro. Or is it farro? Or is it farro? Or is it? So the very first step to our Mexican grain bowls is the protein. This time I chose steak. Any steak works, flank, skirt, whatever you have. I have just cut it up in little bite-sized pieces that I'm gonna do a little seasoning, a little dry marinade. It's very simple. Garlic powder, onion powder, salt. Seal it up and squish it all around. Get the meat coated with the spices. I'm gonna marinate this in the fridge just for a couple hours. Up to overnight is totally fine if you have the time, but a couple hours will do. Mexican grain bowls. My grain of choice is farro. Easy way to do this is a three to one ratio. I've got two cups of farro here, about six cups of water. So I'm gonna just dump it in and put a lid on it after a quick stir so that it doesn't stick. So the next step are the veggies. On a baking sheet, you're just gonna take that frozen corn and add a half a red onion that you've kind of sliced up. Drizzle with olive oil, sprinkle with a little bit of salt. Under the broiler, it goes. So while the corn and the onions are in the broiler, I'm gonna make some guacamole. Super, super simple, my style. It's just one avocado. I, I like to get angry with it some lime, a little bit of cilantro, and we're gonna mash. Don't forget your salt, this is where it comes alive. Natalie and Will love this corn. I call it candy corn. Do you guys want some candy corn? It's your favorite. Because it gets so candied and caramelized, it pops and chars and it's so cute. It has this cool toothy, crunchy texture that you don't get with any other sort of corn. What are you, a dog? The meat comes back into play. Dump your meat in. Let it sizzle, let it sear. The cool thing about this recipe is that it can totally go two different ways. If your kids aren't into ancient grains, take those toppings and throw them into a tortilla. Make it an instant quesadilla. We're ready to build our bowls, man, and we're gonna start with the farro. Everybody has different tastes in a family. A guac dop. Some people don't like cheese, Aaron. Some people don't like meats, Natalie. So it's interesting and it's fun just to sort of let everybody kind of do their own thing with the toppings. You can get creative with your own thing. Just like kind of like going to like, build your own burrito bar, you know? I'm glad you like it. You have a lot of food in your mouth. For me, what's so special about this meal is texture, flavor. There's all these layers. It's still super nutritious. We have healthy fats. We've got good proteins. Kids get what they want. Adults get what they want. Everybody's happy. For more one recipe, two meal options, subscribe below.